Good morning, everybody. And welcome to Bangkok's Klong Thai Market or something like that. Market where you can just pick up the, the fish from the floor if they jump from it. They're still alive, of course. Oh. Yeah, I'm pushing the stroller and, and I'm having a bit of a problem logging and pushing the stroller at the same time. But it's a fascinating market. And I figured I'm, I'm gonna have to show you, right? Not only fish, there's also lots of meat here. And lots of other products. Oh, these are interesting looking fish. Fish, oh, yeah, they almost look like piranhas. Oh. Yep. <laughs> anyway, guys, so um, I don't wanna show you the market here. Oh, I'd like to show you, but uh, I'd like to show you something in particular here, uh, and which will be on the fruit, vegetable uh, side of the market. Yeah. Yeah, that would be something very prestigious, let's say in a country like Malaysia. But actually in Thailand, I'm not so sure what uh, where the people stand. And I'm talking about durian. Yes, durian. Some people call it the stink fruit, the vomit fruit, I heard, all kinds of things. Uh, putting it down, a beautiful fruit, right? Is it beautiful? I did not see too many durians because it was early in the year when we arrived. And, uh, in some cities, I did not see it at all. Here in Bangkok, I saw it a little bit, but not overly, not like in Malaysia, for example. Interesting, that's the ice business. Wow. Oh, yeah, I see lots of sea fruits. Check out these these things. Very cool. Wow. Check out this one. Hello, hello. Somebody cup. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I did find the fact that I speak some Thai funnier than than actually me bumping with my stroller into the fish. <laughs> So let's go back, go to the fruit side of the market and try to find out what durians are like here in Thailand. Are they just like in Malaysia? I've not had it. Uh, I've had it a long time ago in Malaysia. Well, quite a while ago, and I was fine with it. But yeah, recently I saw these videos uh, made by people who did not like it. I mean, I do know that lots of uh, foreigners, like Matsales or here in Thailand Phalangs, do not like it, but. I'm not sure, I used to like it. Let's check it out, what it's like here now. It's the fruit section. Lots of watermelons already. See, and they're, and they're nicely um, uh, uh, signed how much it costs. So uh, it's pretty good for those of you who don't speak Thai. Ah, and check it out, I see the first durian right there. Oh, cool. And uh, this is a dragon fruit. Just 70 a kilo. And this is 180 a kilo. Oh well. Wow. Very cool. Well, it looks good. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, check it out. Huh? You want that? You want to eat the whole thing? <laughs> I don't think so. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pointy, right? Uh, it's spiky. Spiky fruit. It looks good though. Huh? What do you think? Should we try that? Let's try that. Okay. Oh, I saw, uh, there's smaller ones as well. Oh, but this is quite heavy. So these are apparently is 180 per per kilo, not per fruit because they're different sizes, right? So must be. Do they call this distinct fruit? Actually, not smelling so much. It's a little bit of, 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 of a smell, but not like not like super bad or something. But anyway, let's try try to buy some more. Oops. I have uh, certain pieces already cut out for you and packaged so that I don't have to buy the whole thing. I just want to try it now. Uh, which also, it's already like 180. So it's not the kilo price then. No, no, no. 180. Cup, cup. 
Let's go and uh, find a section where I can eat this. I have some lighting. I could have eaten it there. But yeah, let's try something better. There's some more durian. Uh, uh, there are 170 here. Oh man, I was cheated. No, they're not as good as mine. Mine are better. Because mine are 180. There's 170. The cheap, cheap durian. Ah, uh, the foreigners. Oh yeah, there's more. <laughs> I can't believe this is 120. And it's 160. Uh, come on, are you... Uh, how are you joking with me? These are 120 and these are 160. Of course, I suppose they're, they're like different different kinds, right? So I got the good kinds, the 180 kinds. Which is, yeah, it's not. So that's like, that is like five or six dollars. Uh, which is not that much money. Of course, but compared to other fruits, it's it's much more expensive. Uh, but that's, that's, that's durian for you. That's like the, the most expensive fruit that I can think of, see? These are oranges, 60, or these are rambutan for 35 or 60. See the, the difference? There must be quite a difference. Mangoes, dragon fruits. Ah, it's a good a fruit market here. Nice bananas and, and cucumbers. <laughs> these are bananas, they almost look the same. Wow. And there is not, as again, is a, there is a, again um, durian. Actually, if this is good, I'll, 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 I'll catch some, buy some here for, for my, uh, especially my daughter likes durian. My, 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 my little son doesn't like it so much. So here is a little bit more quiet from the, uh, away from the people. And the light is all right, I suppose. Anyway, so I bought this for 180. That's like $6, no, maybe seven, eight. <laughs> Not even sure. Like 100 baht is like $3, so. That's like seven, eight dollars, right? <laughs> Open this up. Uh, yeah, these vlogs I saw lately were all about how bad this fruit actually is. And yeah, calling it the stink fruit, calling it the vomit fruit and all. Uh, let's see, all right? I think uh, maybe it's a bit exaggerated. Oh, it's a scooter. And it's all, that's quite a junk. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Let's try this. There's a little bit more of over smell, like nowadays peeled. It's still not like super, super bad, or you know. It's like so. It's quite heavy actually. It's a, it's a chunk of. And there's, there's there's a stone inside, uh, but the meat is like seems to be quite heavy. All right. Try this. Mm. Damn, this is good. This is not not stink fruit, not mommet's fruit, man. This is like the best durian I've ever had. This is really good. Oh. Hmm. What I'll give you some. This is super. This is super candy cake fruit. Oh my god. Mmm. 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 This is really good, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect this. My son likes it. So a first durian for you, boy. It's not like, like typically a fruit for children, I suppose. But let's see if we eat it. Yeah, you can eat it. You wanna eat it? <laughs> you know, like in your mouth. You wanna try it? Yeah? Take a bite. You like that? What's the face expression say? <laughs> you're pretty you're pretty indifferent. Hmm? Is it good? You like it? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> sure. You want some more? No? I'll buy some bananas, okay? Yeah, he loves bananas. Durian, but it's not like not like a stink fruit, right? It's like it's just like a fruit for you, right?
But actually, for me, it's heaven, dude. Buy a bunch of bananas, which he likes better. Oh, that's, that's so more of that thing. Oh, my God. Check it out. It's a lot of, it's quite a junk, actually. Mmm. It's amazing. Why do these vloggers not like this? I mean, I, I, I see I can be an acquired taste thing, but it's not really. Well, because it's really good. But yeah, of course, there's endless dis uh, debates in, let's say, Malaysia, for example. I'm not sure about Thailand here, because I've had not, never had it in Thailand here, but it's really good. <laughs> I don't even want to say it's better than Malaysia. But uh, nah, it's the same thing, right? But probably different, you know, not brand, a different kind. Mm. Good dude. Mm. I could eat this every day. Mm. Of course. Every day. It would be quite pricey, actually. Mm. It's like a custard almost. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I saw a couple of vlogs that people put on gloves and they smell it and then they overcome themselves and they, they, they finally manage to, to bite into it and they don't actually don't like it. But is that more a psychological thing? Seems to me. But dude, durian in Thailand, I like. I suppose I like durian, period, right? Like if you like apples or bananas, right? You'll you'll like them everywhere, except for if, if it's a if it's a bad kind. But just this, this one, that's like super good. That is like for me, that's like the um like the Musang King of Thailand. Although I I do uh, have to say, in I was at the mall and I saw some durian, and it was super expensive. It's like more than double than that. It's like or like kilos over a thousand, thousand baht, which is, yeah, that's like 30 bucks, which is, for a kilo of fruit, it's quite expensive, I would say. I mean, even in the Western is, uh, lots of people couldn't afford that, especially nowadays, right? I don't know, I wonder if they exp imported or exported to, to Europe, probably not. I mean, I know, I know they, they, they exported from Malaysia to China, because that's a big thing there, it's becoming a big thing, but I don't think they have durian um, themselves. But anyway, yeah, it was good. I, I like it, I can recommend it. Uh, go out and try it, try something new, you know, like a durian, for example. What's wrong with a durian, I tell you that. On the safe side. To eat this last piece and I'll buy some more for the family. It's so addictive. How can you not like this? It's super special, you know, like... It's the Lamborghini among the fruits, right? It's not like other fruits, you know, like, which are also good. I like all kinds of fruits, you know, but... This is, there's something special to those. I do like it. I like it a lot. Huh? I've not wished that. So I've got some more bananas, some watermelon, and then I'm gonna get uh, some more durian a little bit for my uh, daughter. I mean, these are, these are cool things, right? I like them a lot, actually. I like it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'd like, yeah. These are tamarind here. They're pretty, quite big here, actually. There's lots of, that's an important part of the Thai culture, the tamarinds as well. Rice is, coconut is, bananas are. In that thing, the durians should also be an important part of Thai culture. But you know, maybe it is. I mean, I've noticed that in Malaysia, it is a very big culture. Very, people are very proud of their, they're durians, and yeah, my, my language skills are not, the Thai skills are not uh, good enough to find out if they actually care. Well, they sell them somewhere, not like everywhere. Anyway, guys, that was my 
my durian in Thailand video, okay? I hope you had something from it, something out of it. Anyway, but now you do, guys, do try to um, indulge them. All right, guys, take good care. Bye-bye, next video, bye.